What is up, everybody? I am back with a, a little bit of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, and uh, this is kind of a review or first impression video. Uh, this game is amazing for the price. It is $40 on the Xbox One and $30 on the 360, and um, I highly recommend this game. I, I find it to be way more fun than Call of Duty, and it's, it's just amazing for the price. So anyways, let's talk about this. Oh, sorry if I sound sick. <clears throat> um, I am getting over a cold, and I also got food poisoning, food poisoning this weekend. Sorry, Jesus, I can't talk. But uh, that that was a pretty bad weekend. So yeah, that sucked. Anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. In this uh, this game, there is the typical um, like the tower defense type Plants vs Zombies, and then there are a uh, few multiplayer games, but before I talk about this, um, one of the main parts of this game is the sticker packs, which are like card packs in like FIFA or something. Uh, I haven't really played, played FIFA, but I watch videos about FIFA from like KSI, KSI or whatever, sorry. Um, so they're similar to that, and um, in order to play the uh, like the tower defense game, you do need to buy these packs. To replenish your um like the plants that you lose which isn't very it's not like a uh, difficult to do that because you earn enough um tokens each match to buy a pack or two but um also in these packs you can uh, unlock new characters or um like i guess it'd be new skins in these uh i don't know if it'd be a skin or a character because it's like they have like the pea shooter and then i unlocked a agent P or something, I don't know what it is, and I, I think his gun's a little faster compared to the normal P shooter, so I don't know if these are just skins or these, uh, it's a skin with an upgrade, so yeah, I don't know about that, but you get those, and um, it gives you a little bit more incentive to play the game to unlock more skins and just have more fun with the game, but those can be used in multiplayer, and uh, there's also zombie unlocks, plant unlocks, I know the plants are used in the, um, the tower defense, as I said, and I don't know what the zombies are used for unless there's a alternate side to that tower defense, which I don't know yet because the servers are down right now. Well, not down, but they're kind of like, I think they're probably overloaded just because the game's cheap and fun. And, um, anyways, as I said, there's a, the traditional tower defense, and there are four multiplayer um, game modes in it's just a variation of two different game modes, to be honest. Um, there's Team Vanquish and then Classic Team Vanquish. And uh, it's a 12 versus 12 game type. And uh, Team Vanquish, you can use your skins and unlocks that you get from the card packs and just playing online. I think you each character gets three... Um, they each get three, like, abilities to use. And I don't know if that's allowed in Classic uh, Team Vanquish. But for my, what I read on the classic one, it's just, like, uh, no upgrades available, no skins, nothing. And then there's the uh, Gardens and Graveyards, I think is what it's called. And that is a, uh, a team, or not a team deathmatch, a, like a, what, what is that mode in Call of Duty? Like, I can't even think. Domination, that's what it is. It's like a, a variation of Domination. And then um, they also have the classic to that, so... It's pretty fun. I mean, for the price, you get a decent amount of stuff, and the graphics are pretty nice to me. Uh, each character brings in their own little, um, their own little unique features and abilities, and it's just overall fun game. Like, if you have an extra forty bucks, if you're in the United States or I don't know, it'd be in the UK, probably somewhere around like thirty pounds. I, I don't know. I'm just guessing roughly on what that could be. Um, or I don't know. I don't even honestly know. But either way, I believe you should pick this game up for the price. It's worth it. I would give it an honest score of about 8 out of 10. It is honestly a COD killer. Like any game is a Call of Duty ghost killer. That game just blows. And um, sorry if I, I sound like I'm... Like, I don't know, I'm just walking around recording this on my iPhone. So, yeah. If I sound weird, I'm sorry. But, check this game out. And, uh, yeah. 
I'd love to play with some people on this game and just have some fun. It's uh, it's awesome. Uh, that's my review or first impression on this. And now I'm getting all nasally and clogged up. But uh, that's my thoughts and impressions on this game. And uh, these are my feelings toward the game. I'm not saying that's how everybody's going to feel about it. But that's how I feel about it. So, have a nice day, everybody. Goodbye.